I really appreciate what you're doing for me tonight. You don't know how much I appreciate what you're Rhoda, doing. Rhoda, I, I really know how much you appreciate it. You've been telling me for the last 20 minutes. Yeah, well, it isn't everybody who would double date with her friend, knowing she's going to have a rotten time. <laughs> well, I, I didn't know that, Rhoda. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are. But how, how can you be so sure that I'm going to have a rotten time? Because your date was described to me as being as much fun as my date. <laughs> By my date. Uh -huh. with, why are you going out with your guy again? Because when he called me up, he used a Donald Duck voice on the telephone. <laughs> I thought he was another guy. I didn't know it was him till after I'd accepted. Wait, 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 wait. You know two grown men who use Donald Duck voices on the phone? Yeah. The other one's a judge. <laughs> Maybe it won't be so bad. <laughs> Tonight will be the worst. Or as our dates would say, <laughs> you, you know, I, I think I could be coming down with something. It's just a little, uh, kind of a, uh, too late, the ducks are here. <sighs> Hi! Hey, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Ah, uh, choo! <laughs> now I think I'll put it back in my pocket. Pocket. <laughs> Hey, uh, is my tie all right? <laughs> well, uh, is it somebody gonna ask me in? <laughs> I can't go through with this! Come on, you're ruining it! I did and you did. I told you not to wear that check suit. You spoiled the illusion. Did you ever have a blind date make a fun of your entrance? Oh, oh gosh, no. <laughs> Well, girls, now that we've had a good laugh, I'd like you to meet my friend, Warren Sturges. <laughs> this is Rhoda. No, no, don't tell me, don't tell me. Well, you must be Rhoda, and uh, you must be, uh, uh, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not uh, just stand around. Come on in, and we'll sit around. <laughs> It's nice to see you again, Lowell. It sure is. I told you she was a knockout, didn't I, Warren? Mary. Would you believe this is love at first sight? No. Then would you believe liking a lot at first sight? No, then would you believe mild infatuation? Uh. <laughs> Does he do a great Don Adams or what, huh? Would you believe anyone is still doing? Would you believe? Hey, oh, go oh, The Jolly Green Giant's contact lens. <laughs> And this guy's gonna be like this all evening. <laughs> all evening, Rhoda. Hey, come on, come on, let's go. I got reservations at a Korean restaurant. Korean? Try it. You'll like it. <laughs> well, man, what do you say? Isn't he everything I promised? More. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You know? That Korean food was uh, surprisingly good. Boy, am I full. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really good, Warren. <laughs> well, I, I guess uh, you don't want to come in for coffee or anything then, since you're so full. Coffee sounds great. I thought it might. <laughs> hey, Mary. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Boy, Mary, we had a lot of laughs tonight. Yeah. There, there, there were laughs, Warren. I sure did hear laughs. You know, Mary, once in a great while, two people meet, and they develop immediate and overwhelming attraction to one another. Mm hmm Now, yeah, you and Lowell seem to really hit it off. <laughs> no, Mary, I mean you and me. Oh, come on, Warren, you and I hardly said anything to each other all evening long. Yeah, I know, but sometimes words just aren't necessary. Warren. Mary, I'm going to be honest with you. Something happened tonight. I, uh, I think I fell a little bit in love. Warren, you don't even know me. Mary, I know you. No, you don't. All right. Okay, I don't know you, but I think I love you. Warren. Mary, and I know that you're going to love me. Oh, gosh, I don't know how you know that. <laughs> that is another thing I just love about you. What? You're so sensible. Uh-uh, I'm oh, not. Yes, you, know? you are. Yes, you are. I know that you don't want to rush into this, and I respect you for that. And I understand. But someday, 
that one magic someday you're going to love me. Oh, Mary, Mary, Mary. I just want you to know that I'm not going to sleep with you tonight. <laughs> what? No, 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 please. I've made up my mind. I want this to be more than a one-night stand. Warren! Mary, 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 I've got to go now. Warren! Warren, what? <laughs> Breakfast now being served in the main dining room. What, what are you doing? Wait till you see today's menu. First on the menu, there is freshly squeezed orange juice. Then there's piping hot coffee, freshly baked pastry, and one perfect red rose for my lady. What, Warren, listen, you, you left here uh, six hours ago. Uh, you've called me twice since then. Warren, it's the one day in the week that I get to sleep late. Let's get a little light No, on don't. Hey, a balcony. We can have breakfast on the balcony. Warren, I don't want to have breakfast on the balcony. I want to get back into my couch. <laughs> Mary, Mary, have I got a day planned for us, babe. First, after breakfast, we go to the zoo. Then we'll have a little lunch in the park. I got a picnic basket down in the car, cold chicken and white wine. Then when we're finished with that, I'm going to take you on a canoe ride on the lake. Oh. And while I play my harmonica, you just dangle your little fingers in the water. Well, that really... Uh, boy, that sounds terrific, Warren. Uh, Warren, I don't think I can make it today. Warren, I have to go to the laundromat. I would rather go to the laundromat. Hey, you're not really saying you're not really glad to see me, are you? Warren, Warren, listen, it's just that you picked a kind of a bad day. So, Warren, thank you very much for breakfast and everything else. Hey, Mary. Mary, you see this? Yeah. You see what this is? Yeah, that's my silk calendar. No, no, no. no. <laughs> On that date, you're going to be in love with me. Now, don't ask me how I know that, but I know that. I wasn't going to ask you, And you're going to be so thankful. You're going to say, thank you, Warren, for being so persistent, because I didn't realize what was happening to us, but you realized it, and I just didn't know you're going to say that. I don't think I'm even going to remember it, Warren. <laughs> Believe me, Mary, you're going to say, thank you, Warren. Well, I'm going to go now, Mary. Thank you, Warren. <laughs> down, Mary, to ask you to please turn down your harmonica. <laughs> was Warren. He just left. Ooh, ooh, things really worked out good last night. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, Rhoda, you've got to help me get rid of him. I know, kid, I will. Honest, anything you ask me, name it. Good. I want you to call Lowell and tell him to call off his friend. Anything but that. Why? Oh, Mary, I just figured out a way to break up with Lowell. I did it. And now you want me to call him? Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. How did you break up with Lowell? Told him I was dying. <laughs> I don't think that would work with Warren. He'd want to come with me. Rhoda, please, you owe me. All right, I'll call. I guess I really do owe you. Well, maybe I'd be lucky and he won't be home. Hello, Lowell. It's Rhoda. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, all things considered. <laughs> My friend Mary has a problem. Gee, I, I don't know just how to phrase this, um, but uh, she can't stand Warren, so you please tell him to bug off. Hello, Mary. <laughs> Hello, Mary. Well, you're in pretty good spirits for a man who just came from the dentist. Well... <laughs> I would have been back earlier, but I 
Stop to watch some guys putting up a billboard across the street. A couple of messages for you. Oh, yeah? There's a message for you, too. Hmm. What? Well, on that billboard right across the street. Uh, written across it in big red letters, it says, Warren Sturgis loves Mary Richards. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> And the O in love is shaped like a big, big heart. <laughs> Mr. Grant, is it, is it the, the, the little billboard on, on top of the drugstore? No, it's the giant one above the bank. <laughs> you replaced the godfather. Oh, why? 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 Yeah. Go take a look, Mary. It's right outside. You can't miss it. When? Why am I going? I don't want to see it. <laughs> hey, Mary, I found your new fella here. Hiya, Mary. He was down in the lobby trying to phone you. Somebody kept telling you were at a meeting. So I brought him up here. Well, <laughs> what, what a surprise. Why is this guy a lot of laughs, Mary? <laughs> hey, Warren, Warren, let's show him that handshake you oh. taught me. <laughs> Two milkmen shaking hands. <laughs> Other one. No, 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 no. Let me try this one with Mary. Well, no, really, Warren. I would. Uh, uh, Two lumberjacks shaking hands. <laughs> <laughs> Can you have lunch with me? No, I can't. And Warren, I would like to know. I got reservations at a French restaurant. Really, I just, I have so much work to do. Don't worry about it, Mayor. I'll fix it up for you with Lou. Warren, I am not going to have lunch with you. Mary. Don't you think you're overplaying this hard-to-get routine? <laughs> I mean, if you keep it up, you'll have to lose this guy. No, 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 Ted. No chance of that. Any girl worth having is a girl worth fighting for, and that's why I brought these. <laughs> now we're prisoners of love, Mary. Oh, that's, that's cute, Warren. That, that really is. That's really cute. <laughs> now, would you please take them off? Oh, I can. I don't have the key. Where's the key? The maitre d' at the French restaurant has. <laughs> now you have to go to lunch with me. Yeah, I guess I do. Isn't it funny how that worked out? I'll walk you past our billboard. Oh, say, do you need a coat? No, I don't. I need a key. <laughs> Did I just see Murray being taken out of here in handcuffs? Yes, Lou. Huh. They must be rounding up Protestants. <laughs> Mary, have you got the rest of the file on? Where's Mary? She isn't back yet. It's almost 2.30. She's been gone two and a half hours. Oh, maybe Warren finally won her over. <laughs> you know, I hounded a girl like that once. Yeah. In junior high school. Mm -hmm. Every day for a month, I sent her a list that said, check one. A, you are madly in love with me. B, you are crazy about me. C, you like me a lot. Which one did she check? D, none of the above. <laughs> well, if you know what you want, you gotta put the pressure on. That's what chicks do with me. <laughs> you ask me, Warren's got the right idea. Well, you have to stick to it. That's the way you get them. It was the same way with Edie and me. She didn't want to go out with me, but I pressed her. You know how I finally convinced her to go out with me? <laughs> huh? I'll do how. <laughs> poetry. You wrote poetry? At one time in my life, it was my job. What was your job? I was a poet. <laughs> a professional poet. 65 bucks a week on the Detroit Free Press was my first job. I wrote Thoughts in Rhyme by Lois Hammersmith. <laughs> Lois Hammersmith? Well, Lois started the column, and uh, she had kind of a following. And when she died, they just left her name on it. You remember any of them? <laughs> well, there was one I wrote to Edie when we were dating. It was called Autumn Wood. How'd it go? 
Well, you don't want to hear some dumb poem I wrote 25 years ago. Well, shall we, Lou? Yeah, come on, Lou. It's just us guys here. <laughs> Autumn Wood. <laughs> the light from the ever-waning moon illuminates less and less. And to the autumn wood doth bring a glow of enchanted loveliness. I walk, I look, and in this dream, you alone, my love, are seen. <laughs> I think it was very moving, Lou. I didn't know you had it in you. Maybe it does rhyme. Maybe I didn't hear it right. <laughs> I guess it's okay. Of course, I could never have written it if my name hadn't been Lois Hammersmith. <laughs> you know, it uh, reminds me of a poem I once made up. Let's see, how's it go? Right. There once was a hermit named Dave. <laughs> Spent 40 years in a cave. So you're the one who made that up. Hi there, how was lunch? Oh, uh, fine, Mary, fine. are you all right? Mm, yeah, fine, fine. What happened? I, I'm, all, I'm all right, just uh, give, give me a minute. Hey, Mary, I just, I just want you to know that I think you and Warren make a beautiful couple. Oh, Ted, go away. <laughs> go away, go away. You say go away? <coughs> no associate producer tells an anchor man to go away. Go away. But when a producer says it, that's a whole different story. <laughs> Mary. Oh, Mr. Fred, it was just awful. The handcuffs and then... When we got to the restaurant, the man he had left the key with had gone home sick, and we had to walk to a hardware store, and the people were looking at us, and through the whole thing, Warren kept saying over and over again, yeah. someday, Mary, you and I are going to look back at this and laugh. <laughs> There's something we can do. Oh. Mary, you want me to hit him for you or something? <laughs> it's my fault. I've just been afraid to hurt his feelings. Listen, I don't want to burden you guys with my problems. No. Just excuse me for a minute. I'm going to go to the, and, you know. Yeah, go on. Anyway, I think I finally got through to him. I really don't think I'll be hearing from Warren again. Miss <laughs> Richards? You have won the Kentucky Derby of my heart. <laughs> You're not the only poet around here, Lou. <laughs> Rhoda? Yeah, you know, from upstairs. <laughs> Harry, hi, kid. I just thought maybe you'd like to go to a movie, huh? You can't. Why not? It'll do you good. Come on. Get your mind off Warren. No. Rhoda, I can't. Why not? Because he's out there. <laughs> he's out there waiting for me. Rhoda, I know it. I can feel it. He's not out there, man. <laughs> Somewhere. He is out there. Rhoda, you can't always see him, but he is out there. He's out there waiting. You don't know what it's like knowing he's out there waiting and planning and plotting and conniving some new way to win my heart. <laughs> man, man, listen to me. Uh, why don't I make you a nice hot cup of cocoa? Would you like that? Thank you. That would be very nice. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to put some marshmallow in it, huh? It would be very nice. Okay, coming right up, kid. Oh, Rhoda, he's done something humiliating to me every day for the last 11 days, and today... What? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I don't know what the next thing is going to be, Rhoda, but I do know it's going to be a wowzer. What is it he did yesterday? Yesterday, he went through the neighborhood with that bullhorn blaring that message. <laughs> I wasn't home. What he said, kid? I know you're in there. Come out with your hands up and your lips puckered. <laughs> you do? I hid. Ah, Mary, that's why you can't stop him. Because
course, you're afraid to make a scene. This guy knows it, and he's using it. You with your little white gloves and your perfect manner. Well, what would you do? I'd water bomb him. <laughs> water never fails, Mayor. In a restaurant, if I get grabbed under the table, glass of water in the old lap. <laughs> Rude, I can't do that. Then he's got you. Oh, no, he has. <laughs> Don't answer that. What, do you think it's him? It's him. Well, uh, maybe it's somebody else. Rude, it's him. I know it's him. What, do you know his ring? I know it's him! Mary, I can't stand it. I gotta answer that. This way we'll know for sure. I know for sure it's him. Hello, is it you? <laughs> they hung up. You see, I told you it was him. Mary, that could have been anybody. But tell you what, kid. Let, let's not talk about Warren Sturgis anymore. Okay. We'll talk about something else, right? right? Let's talk about something else. You want to know what I think? I think the worst is over. I think the reason you haven't heard from Warren today is because he can't think of anything else to do to you. That's what I think. You've had a rough week, but you made it through. It's over. You can walk in the sun once more. <laughs> now, drink. I was out of cocoa, wasn't I? <laughs> yeah. What is this? Instant coffee. <laughs> With a marshmallow in it. Hey, it's delicious. You know, I never thought we'd get together. Oh? Well, I've been calling you at home for a week now. You never seem to be there. Well, it's been a kind of a hectic week. Anyway, I'm glad I finally reached you. Oh, I am too, Peter. It's so nice to have a normal first date. What do you mean, normal? Well, pour me some more wine, and maybe I can explain it. I... You better pour a little more than that. It's sort of a long story. <laughs> Mary! Mary! Hi, I'm Warren Sturgis. What a surprise, Mary. Excuse me a second. Yeah, fellas, I'm the guy that hired you. Come on over here. Oh, no, no. No, no, no Warren, this isn't a surprise. You, you planned this. Oh, well, yeah, but uh, this... Uh, happens... yeah, and you think that you're going to get away with this because I'm a... Afraid to make a scene. Well, Warren, I am not afraid to make a scene. Oh, Mary, well, I planned this. You I see? figured, yes, that you planned it, Warren. I mean, I see gypsies. I figure Warren's got a plan. <laughs> well, what's it going to be, Warren? Are you going to handcuff me while they play? Oh. Is this satisfactory, sir? No. No, it is not satisfactory, Warren. I tried to be nice to you, but you just keep coming. You won't let up, will you? Mary, you're embarrassing me. Oh, am I? <laughs> well, welcome to the club, my friend, because I have had it. Mary, people are staring at us. Well, Warren, you didn't seem to mind them staring at us when we were handcuffed. Well, I don't mind now. I don't. <laughs> so how do you like that? <laughs> Check. You would like an answer to this question. Will you marry me? Well, Warren, I will answer that question. No. Shall I spell that for you? I will spell it for you, Warren. N O No. Is that clear enough, Warren? Because if it isn't clear enough, I will spell it for you again. N O No. Mary, I'd like you to meet the girl I bought the cake for. This is Peggy Stanton, Mary Richards. Oh, Warren, oh, I'm so... Uh, say, Mary, I'm a little late for work. Uh, you can get a cab now, can't you? I'll call you again real soon. Oh, Peter, I... It's... Oh, oh, hey, what was written on the cake before she messed it up? It said, will you marry me? Will I marry you? Oh, of course I'll marry you. <laughs> hey, hey, let's get out of this place. Sure, sure, sure. Hey, gypsies, follow me. Why did you have to ruin my pretty cake? I... Will there be anything else, ma'am? No, I think that's been about enough. <laughs> Mary Richards, L listen, Peter, about what happened at lunch today. <laughs> I mean, I was really, I was so embarrassed. I wasn't even going to call because I thought, well, you know, I can't possibly explain why it happened. And then 
I thought, well, why not? Right, there is a good explanation. And, well, the explanation is that, well, you see, goodbye, Peter. <laughs> I appreciate what you're Rhoda, doing. I, I really know how much you appreciate it. You've been telling me for the last 20 minutes. Yeah, well, it isn't everybody who would double date with her friend, knowing she's going to have a rotten time. <laughs> well, I, I didn't know that, Rhoda. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are. But how, how can you be so sure that I'm going to have a rotten time? Because your date was described to me as being as much fun as my date. <laughs> By my date. Uh -huh. well, th why are you going out with your guy again? Because when he called me up, he used a Donald Duck voice on the telephone. <laughs> I thought he was another guy. I didn't know it was him till after I'd accepted. Wait, 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 wait. You, you know two grown men who use Donald Duck voices on the phone? Yeah. The other one's a judge. <laughs> Maybe it won't be so bad. <laughs> Tonight will be the worst. Or as our dates would say, <laughs> you, you know, I, I think I could be coming down with something. It's just a little, uh, kind of a... Uh, too late, the ducks are here. <sighs> Hi! Hey, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Ah, uh, chew! <laughs> now I think I'll put it back in my pocket. Pocket. <laughs> Hey, uh, is my tie all right? <laughs> well, uh, is it somebody gonna ask me in? <laughs> I can't go through with this! Come on, you're ruining it! I did and you did. I told you not to wear that check suit. You spoiled the illusion. Did you ever have a blind date make a fun of your entrance? Oh, uh, gosh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, girls, now that we've had a good laugh, I'd like you to meet my friend, Warren Sturges. <laughs> This is Rhoda. No, no, don't tell me, don't tell me. Well, you must be Rhoda, and uh, you must be, uh, uh, Mary. <laughs> well, let's not uh, just stand around. Come on in, and we'll sit around. It's nice to see you again, Lowell. It sure is. I told you she was a knockout, didn't I, Warren? Mary, would you believe this is love at first sight? <laughs> No. <laughs> then would you believe liking a lot at first sight? No, then would you believe mild infatuation? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Does he do a great Don Adams or what, huh? <laughs> would you believe anyone is still doing? Would you believe? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. The Jolly Green Giant's contact lens. <laughs> And this guy's gonna be like this all evening. <laughs> all evening, Rhoda. Hey, come on, come on, let's go. I got reservations at a Korean restaurant. Korean? Try it. You'll like it. <laughs> well, man, what do you say? Isn't he everything I promised? More. No, no, no. You know? That Korean food was uh, surprisingly good. Boy, am I full. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really good, Lauren. <laughs> well, I, I guess uh, you don't want to come in for a coffee or anything then, since you're so full. Coffee sounds great. I thought it might. <laughs> hey, Mary. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> Boy, Mary, we had a lot of laughs tonight. Yeah. It, it, there were laughs, Warren. I sure did hear laughs. You know, Mary, once in a great while, two people meet, and they develop immediate and overwhelming attraction to one another. Mm-hmm. Now, you and Lowell seem to really hit it off. <laughs> no, Mary, I mean you and me. Oh, come on, Warren, you and I hardly said anything to each other all evening long. Yeah, I know, but sometimes words just aren't necessary. Warren. Mary, I'm going to be honest with you. Something happened tonight. I, uh, I think I fell a little bit in love. Warren, you don't even know me. Mary, I know you. No, you don't. All right. <laughs> okay, I don't know you, but I think I love you. Warren. Mary, and I know that you're going to love me. Oh, gosh, I don't know how you know that. <laughs> that is another thing I just love about you. What? You're so sensible. Uh-uh, I'm oh, not. Yes, no. you are. Yes, you are. I know that you don't want to rush into this, and I respect you for that. And I understand. But someday, that one magic someday, you're going to love me. Oh, Mary, Mary, Mary. I just want you to know that I'm not going to sleep with you tonight. <laughs> What? No, 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 please. I've made up my mind. I want this to be more than a one-night stand. Warren! Mary, 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 I've got to go there. Warren! Warren, what? Breakfast now being served in the main dining room. What, what are you doing? Wait till you see today's menu. First on the menu, there is freshly squeezed orange juice. Then there's piping hot coffee, freshly baked pastry, and one perfect red rose for my lady. What, Warren, listen, you, you left here uh, six hours ago. Uh, you've called me twice since then. Warren, it's the one day in the week that I get to sleep late. Let's get a little uh, light no on. No, don't. Hey, a balcony. We can have breakfast on the balcony. Warren, I don't want to have breakfast on the balcony. I want to get back into my couch. <laughs> Mary, Mary, have I got a day plan for us, baby? First, after breakfast, we go to the zoo. Then we'll have a little lunch in the park. I got a picnic basket down in the car, cold chicken and white wine. Then when we're finished with that, I'm gonna take you on a canoe ride on the lake. Oh. And while I play my harmonica, you just dangle your little fingers in the water. Well, that's really, uh, boy, that sounds terrific, Warren. Uh, Warren, I don't think I can make it today. Warren, I have to go to the laundromat. I would rather go to the laundromat. Hey, you're not really saying you're not really glad to see me, are you? Warren, Warren, listen, it's just that you picked a kind of a bad day. So, Warren, thank you very much for breakfast and everything else. Hey, Mary. Mary, you see this? Yeah. You see what this is? Yeah, that's my 